Hey everyone, you guys seem to really, really like my mummy mason jar craft, so I decided to do a scarecrow for the fall time. So if you haven't seen that mummy mason jar, I will link it down below. Let's go ahead and get started with what you will need. First you'll need a mason jar, tissue paper, mod podge, uh, a lot of different paint, raffita, burlap, some kind of fallish ribbon or material, mulberry twigs, and let's go ahead and get started. So first I just put some Mod Podge on a paper plate and then I took some tissue paper and just cut it in half and I went ahead and made sure that it would fit my mason jar, that it wouldn't be too long or too big or whatever. And then I'm just going ahead and painting the mason jar. I'm not painting the whole entire mason jar at one time just cause I don't want the Mod Podge to dry. So I am just kind of putting the tissue paper on there and I am bringing it up and putting it down in the um, mason jar. I will cut this off later, but right now I'm just kind of putting it down inside the mason jar. And then I'm going along and doing the next little section of adding some Mod Podge and then laying down the tissue paper and I'm just kind of laying it across it and patting it in there. This will be kind of wet and so you have to be careful that you don't rip the tissue paper because I kind of made that mistake in one spot. So you have to be very careful when patting it down and not like rub too hard or anything. Just kind of pat it and be very gentle when patting it. So then I went ahead and went in with another layer of the tissue paper. So again, I'm just cutting off half, like just cutting the tissue paper right down the middle and then adding some Mod Podge and just doing like I did before and adding a little bit as I go, just so that the Mod Podge won't dry before I get the tissue paper down on it. And then after you've Mod Podge all your tissue paper, I would recommend letting it dry for at least an hour or two before you paint it. And then now I'm just taking the Sunkissed Peach shade, which is kind of like a skin color shade, and I'm just painting the whole entire mason jar just on top of the tissue paper. I'm just painting the whole entire mason jar this color. And I did have to go in and do two coats of this. And then I'm going in with some raffia. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of cutting it to the size that I want. You can make this any size that you want. And then I'm just hot gluing it on. This is what's going to be the hair for the scarecrow. And I kind of added a lot, but you don't have to add a whole lot. You could just add, you know, a little bit. It's totally your choice. It's 
completely up to you. I kind of added a lot. I just kept going back in and adding a little bit more hair. And so all you have to do is just hot glue this on to the mason jar. It can be whatever length you want. I just kind of made it like not too long, just kind of a, a good length, I thought. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with some bangs. And I'm just using little tiny pieces, and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm hot gluing them on to the mason jar, just the very top right there. And just so that it like looks like little bangs, like most scarecrows have. And then here I decided to make the bangs just a little bit thicker. I didn't like the super thin bangs. So I wanted to make them just a little bit thicker. And so again, I'm just using the hot glue gun and applying it to the mason jar. And then I just cut a strip of burlap off. It totally depends on what size you want it. I just kind of like this size. I thought it looked cute for this. And then so I am just hot gluing that onto the mason jar. And I am leaving a little bit like of room like up above because I'm going to hot glue that inside of the mason jar. And then I'm going to go in and hot glue the burlap on to the inside of the mason jar. I'm not going to hot glue like every single piece because I don't want it to look perfect. I'm kind of hot gluing like every other piece of the burlap. If you understand what I'm saying, I don't think I'm making very sense. But I kind of want it to give like that kind of scarecrow look, like the scarecrow hat look. And so it's not going to be 100% perfect. And then I'm just going in with the raffita and I'm literally just kind of like bunching it up. There's literally no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just bunching it up and then hot gluing it to the inside. You want it to look kind of like crazy, like it's actually like a scarecrow. And so I'm literally just bunching it up and then hot gluing it inside of the mason jar. And then I took this little ribbon, which was actually from material that I just cut a strip off of. And then I'm going to tie it in like a little bow and then I'm going to cut the ends off. And then I'm going to go in with the hot glue gun and just kind of hot glue it onto the burlap just so that it doesn't move at all. And now it's time to paint the face. For the eyes, I'm literally just going and making like two ovals, one of them kind of facing like the other one like a little bit, and then I'm just going to fill them in black. For everything that I painted, I did have to go back in and do two coats. So for the eyes, nose, lips, and the, fit, and the like little cheeks, I did have to do two coats on each of them. And then going in with that burnt orange shade, I'm literally just making a triangle, but instead of it being like pointed edges, I'm kind of making them like a little bit more rounder, and then I'm just filling that in. And then for the cheeks, I just mixed burnt orange and a little tiny bit of flag red just so that it could kind of give it like that flushed appearance. And I'm literally just making a circle for the cheeks and then I'm filling that color in. And then to give it that kind of flush look, I'm like taking paint on a paintbrush and then I'm kind of wiping it off and then literally just like patting it onto the cheeks so that it kind of gives it that like little flushed appearance. 
And then I just dipped the end of the paintbrush into some white paint, and then I created a dot on each eye, a dot, three dots on the nose, and then a dot on each cheek. For the mouth, I just took some black paint and like a pointed paintbrush, and I just kind of created like a little, like honestly, I don't really even know how I did this. I just kind of created like some squiggly lines going the whole way down. Like it literally doesn't have to be perfect and you can make the mouth however you wanted to. This is just kind of how I thought it would look cute. And I just kind of created like a squiggly line all the way around for the mouth. Lastly, I added some mulberry twigs to the top, just hot glued them right on there. And then this is the finished little scarecrow mason jar craft. I hope you guys liked this video. I had so much fun making it and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think it is the perfect fall decoration and I absolutely loved it and I hope you guys like it too. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!